Hi guys, I understand some of you might have recently purchased this easy to upgrade powerhouse uh, and then discovered that it wasn't really that easy to upgrade. Uh, you may have had some problems trying to put in your own custom power supply. So rather than detail every step of the process, I'm just going to kind of run through a few quick things about what we did and why and so you can see why it's really not that scary or uh, intimidating of a process to do on your own. What we have here is our uh, lovely computer, a little bit stickered up. And over here is our stock power supply with the 4-pin CPU adapter and the 10-pin motherboard power adapter. Now, if you went and got a new model of power supply, such as this EVGA 600 watt, it's going to come with a 24 pin power supply, which you can't plug in. It's kind of frustrating. So what you got to do is order this 24 pin to 14 pin power supply adapter. You can find a link on the forums. And then duct tape off the extra four pins that you are not going to use to match this one. You can see what I'm talking about here. That pink thing is the paper clip. You might want to use something a bit higher quality than I did, but this works. As long as the metal's not touching, you're just bridging the green wire to the black wire to the left. And it's about that simple. It won't turn on if you don't do that. Other than this modification, everything else is totally stock, messy, and dusty. Due to the way that uh, this fix is applied, when you plug in the power cord, your power supply fan is automatically going to start spinning. Uh, there's no real way around this except to just uh, pl turn it off via the switch on the back. Uh, other than that though, things work as normal. When you plug the power supply in, it should click into place just like the other one did with those extra four pins hanging off the side. Well, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Hope it helped. Good luck.